Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a numerical expression. In the numerator, we have 3 to the power 39 plus 3 to the power 13 plus 30. And in the denominator, we have 3 to the power 26 minus 3 to the power 14 plus 10. So these are gigantic numbers. Do you really want to know what those numbers look like? Okay, I'll give it to you. So the top number is going to be the following, and I'm going to actually show you or tell you how to read it. So this is going to be our top number, and the bottom number is going to be the following. Okay, so how do you read these numbers? Let's start with the top one, the larger number. The larger number, and I think the ones digit should be a zero. Okay, so the top number is 4 quintillion, 52 quadrillion, 555 trillion, 153 billion, 20 million, 570 thousand, 620. And the bottom number is much smaller, 2 trillion, 541 billion, 861 million, 45,372. Now, obviously, these are very, very large numbers. We never have to deal with these kinds of numbers, but just for fun, we're going to solve this problem. Okay, you can definitely divide the top number by the bottom. That's going to be a very, very long division problem. So let's do something else. So I'm going to show you alternative approaches to this. Let's start with the first one. Okay, my first approach, and all the approaches pretty much uh, use the same idea, set... 3 to the power 13 equal to x. I'm pretty sure you thought about this. Algebra is going to help us here. And then our expression becomes the following. x to the power 13. Oops, not 13, 3. That's a cube. x to the power 3 because 39 is 3 times 13. Plus x itself plus 30. And the bottom one is going to be x squared because 26 is 2 times 13. Minus. Now this is the critical part. How do you write that? It is 3 times 3 to the power 13, therefore we can write it as 3x, and finally plus 10. Of course, there's no guarantee that this is going to work, but we're just trying, right? Okay, so how do we simplify this? How about long division? Okay, I know a lot of folks uh, talked about it before in the comment section, so I'm just going to do with long division, why not? So we're going to go ahead and divide this polynomial into, and sorry for my notation if you're not familiar with this, this is how we do it, things in the United States. So we're going to divide first x squared into x cubed. That's going to go x times. And then what I need to do is go ahead and distribute or multiply by this. That's going to give me x cubed minus 3x squared plus 10x. Then I have to negate everything here, minus, plus, minus. And then I have to add these. In other words, I'm subtracting, just like division. This is, this is going to cancel out. 3x squared, x minus 10x is negative 9x plus 30. And yay, success, because x squared minus 3x plus 10 goes into this exactly three times. And that brings us to the end of the division problem, not to the end of the video yet, but almost there. And now we have to negate, 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 add, and then everything cancels out, and zero is the remainder. Uh, this should come as no surprise because we were, were hoping that it would be divisible, right? Otherwise, this problem would, would be somewhat pointless. So, x plus 3 is the answer. What is that supposed to mean? Well, x was 3 to the power 13, so our expression x cubed plus x plus 30 divided by x squared minus 3x plus 10 turns out to be x plus 3, but x is 3 to the power 13, so the answer is 3 to the power 13 plus 3, which can be written as 1,594,326. Much, much smaller than the original numerator and denominator, right? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the second approach real quick. My second approach, obviously all of these are factoring approaches, but different angles. So, I'm just going to rewrite the problem every time because, well, you can see it right here, but still I wanted to write it. So, I'm thinking about it like I'm dividing a cubic by a quadratic, so it should be linear, right? And since the coefficients are 1, so they're both monic, the answer is monic, so I can write the result, the quotient, as x plus k. And then guess what? Polynomial multiplication, right? Let's go ahead and multiply. And we're going to do cross multiplication, so this times this is going to equal that. So, but to save some trouble for you, let me go ahead and give it to you real quick. 
So when we multiply those, we're going to get x cubed plus k minus 3x squared plus 10 minus 3kx plus 10k. And this is supposed to equal x cubed plus x plus 30, which is the, uh, what is it called? The numerator. Okay. So now take a look at this. x cubed equals x cubed. That's good. There is an x squared here, but there's no x squared here, so this is supposed to be 0. The coefficient of x is 1. The coefficient of x must be 1. The constant is 30. The constant must be 30. We get three equations, but they're all for the same variable. They should all agree. Otherwise, these polynomials are not divisible. So k equals 3 is verified three times, so k equals 3. But remainder, remember, the quotient was x plus k, therefore it is x plus 3 as before. It is 3 to the power 13 plus 3. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the third way to approach this problem. See how factoring plays uh, a role in this. So far, we've done the following. First method is long division because a lot of times I don't use it because it takes too long, right? But you can do it. You just divide and you should get a zero remainder. And then you get the quotient. Nice. F to find the remainder, by the way, you don't need to divide. You can just use the remainder theorem. Anyways, second method involves uh, assuming a linear polynomial and then just cross multiplying and setting the coefficients equal to each other. And that gives us k equals 3, which is verified like this. And then the third method is going to be slightly different. It's going to involve direct factoring. So I don't care about the denominator. I just want to factor this thing here. How do you factor this? Well, if you recognize that 30 is 27 plus 3, so we're going to break it down, and take the 23 with the x cubed because they're both cubes, which makes a lot of sense, right, hopefully. So you can write it like this, and my 3 is very messy. I know that, so I'm going to fix it. And then the rest is just going to follow x plus 3. So what's that supposed to mean? It means we can factor by grouping. And x cubed plus 27 is a sum of two cubes. Remember the formula, a cubed plus b cubed formula. I'm not going to give it to you. You already know it, hopefully. It can be written as x plus 3, x squared minus 3x plus 9. And x plus 3 is just 1 times x plus 3. And x plus 3 is a common factor. If you take it out, this plus 1 is going to give you the other factor, x squared minus 3x plus 10. Now, our expression involved this divided by x squared minus 3x plus 10, which means the answer is x plus 3, and that is 3 to the power 13 plus 3 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.